Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. Today, we'll continue with our SQL Accounting System training and I'll talk about delivery order. So in SQL Accounting System, we just go to Sales, Delivery Order. Same as all previous transactions. So when you come in, the first thing that you see is a listing of all your previous delivery order. You can search by different criteria such as the delivery order number if you remember it let's say you cannot remember the delivery order number then we use company name normally or you can just use any other field by doing the field chooser right click on the column title field chooser and drop any field that you want to use as a searching criteria let's say area and the whole things can be exported to Excel. So, delivery order is the document that you use when you deliver an item or a confirmation from your customer. So, it will have impact to your stock level and also impact to 21 days rules under GST. I'll talk in details regarding the 21 days rules in future tutorial. At the meantime, we just need to understand how delivery order works. It seems like all the other transactions. So if you want to create a new one, just click on the new button. So we select um, the customer, remember? So when I just need to key in the customer name, the customer will appear because the company name is involved. That means the focus of searching is that company name. So if you cannot get your customer, it's because the searching focus is run to another column company name to what you need to do is clear off what you have typed click on the tab button on your keyboard you can see the focus shift to another column tap again go to code tap again go to company name you can click on the a over here it's for you to key in a, a, a specific um, word that will appear in when it appear in any of the part of that company name for example so after keying the customer so you can do the same things for item or you can just transfer over from any previous document by right click on the delivery order title so you can transfer from quotation or even sales order so let's say we do a for quotation so for process you can actually click on the item and change the quantity for example this one customer confirmed five unit but we, we just deliver three First. so you just need to do this part then click on OK it will transfer over for the line that you do not want just click on the minus key it will delete the record or you want to add on new things during delivery order you can do so so remember when you save the quantity of these two items will be deducted so delivery order is a document that you need to print out and send to your customer so what you need to do is click on the preview button select one of the template that you wish to okay i think i have not select correctly so this is the delivery order how it's look like okay you can convert to pdf or normally you print out and send together with all the goods and let your customer sign on it so this is how you create a delivery order. Do feel free to drop by at my Facebook. So it's facebook.com slash syntax technologies. Help me to like my page and you can get all the latest information regarding GSD regarding SQL accounting system. If you want to watch previous tutorial video, just go to my website is syntax.com.my, then click on YouTube and you can see all the other tutorial video regarding SQL accounting system. Once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.